Hey guys, I just filmed this little tutorial on this look that's actually inspired by Kim Kardashian. The lips are a bit more out there than hers, but the eyes were from a photo that she put up a few days ago. Um, the her makeup artist or the family's makeup artist, Ariel. Makeup by Ariel. I can't remember his last name. I just really fell in love with it and I got this blue eyeshadow from Colourpop the other day and I'm just like... It's... It's meant to be. So, if you want to know how I got this book, stay tuned. Um, yeah, keep watching. So I'm just starting off by priming my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer and the benefit professional primer I'm just putting that all over my face and the professional just focused in on my pore areas I'm mixing the NARS radiant cream uh, no the NARS matte velvet skin tint and the covergirl outlast foundation for my foundation and then I'm taking the Tarte shape tape the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, and then the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Just putting them in various different spots all over the face. The Tarte in the places where I need the most coverage, and the others just to fill in the blanks. Putting that in the forehead, under the eyes, chin, the usual areas. And then I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Super speedy. I think that this combination just really makes the skin flawless. And like using the three different concealers may seem excessive, but it just seems to work for me. Then I'm using the NYX Wonder Stick and the Smashbox Contour Stick to do some cream contouring. I'm just framing my face by doing that, putting it on the outlines of the forehead, the temple, nose, cheek under the cheekbones, etc. And then just buffing that out with a short stippling brush. And then I'm taking the Cover FX Celestial Drops and I'm putting them on the highest points of my face for really just natural highlight. To the skin. I'm doing this before I put any powders on because you don't want to mix creams and powders. Speaking of which, I'm now going into my Aceon Tour palette by Astralis and taking the banana and the pink shade with a oval brush and just patting that on top of where I put my concealer and underneath as well. And then I'm going to be taking with a angled contour slash bronzing brush I'm taking the two bronze shades that I have left and I'm just putting that on top of where I put the cream concealer as well just to solidify the bronze if you if you will just blending that all in and then I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer in medium brown doing my brows as they normally are did um, I did them pretty bold this time, but I really liked how they went. And then I filled that in with the Gimme Brow by Benefit in the shade, I think, number three. There they are. Bam. And just filling them in. And then I'm taking the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and their Concealer Blending Brush. And I'm just um, concealing and shaping my brows further and then blending with the fluffy end down onto my lid just for some extra coverage which I'm adding to with the um, Benefit um, Air Patrol Primer, that's what it's called and then buffing it out again with that same concealer brush and then I will be setting it 
with that same powder from the Australis kit that I use to set my concealer. I'm setting my eyeshadow with or my base with now. I really like the yellow powder by, Anas um, by Astralis. I have it in a single, um, in a single form as well. Then I'm just baking under my eyes with my Laura Mercier loose translucent powder and underneath my contour with that same oval brush. I love this brush for powders. Oh, so nice. Then I'm taking the shade uh, Bay from the Huda Beauty Rose Edition. Eyeshadow palette and putting that all over my eye up to my brow bone. And I'm taking the shade next to it. Cannot remember the name for the life of me. I think it's, oh no, Shy. Taking Shy and then I'm putting that kind of all over the lid but mainly focusing that in the crease. But this one I'm being a little bit more messy with. But then I go in with Dream Boat, I think, from Colourpop. And I go a little bit more refined into the crease just to deepen it up um I'm just leaving that little spot that middle spots bare kind of like a halo eye but not as strict with my lines it's more very messy and I'm going in with a fluffier brush just to blend that out and I'm going with get out from the high maintenance palette from Colourpop which oh, I love this palette I'm taking that same fluffy brush and just putting that just in the crease, focusing it there. But again, as I said, not very strict with my blending, or well, not not with my blending, but you know what I mean. And I'm taking the shade Bossy, I think it is from the Huda Beauty palette, and doing the exact same thing I was doing before, just to give it more of a maroony, mauve kind of look again. And I'm taking... It looks like I'm taking Bay, but I'm actually taking Moon Dust and I'm putting that in the brow bone because I wanted a shimmery brow bone. Then I'm taking the star of the show, Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Hydroplane. This is the Amanda Steele collaboration. I fucking love this shadow, pardon my French, but oh my god. This and Ignition are like my two favourite shadows ever. I have to get a few more backups because it is amazing. I'm just taking a few brushes there just to blend those two shades together just to make it a little bit more seamless. And then I'm taking a bit of, I think this is Paisley, which is a glittery shadow, just to make that, just to intensify it. Look how wet that left eye looks. Oh, and then the right eye has joined it now. Um, here I'm going to take a little bit more of Moon Dust and take a pencil brush and put that in the inner corner of my eye. Not a necessary step, still liked it though. Um, then I'm taking Dream Boat and just um, defining that outer edge of my eyeshadow and also um, going in under the waterline. I think I just took Dream Boat. Then I'm taking my NARS pencil eyeliner, cannot remember the shade name, my bad. Love this eyeliner so much. Putting that in the top waterline, which looks so comfortable, doesn't it? Ugh. And a little bit in just the outer parts of my eyes, which is something a technique that I really have loving, have been loving recently. And I'm taking my Benefit Their Real Mascara and then my Too Faced Better Than Sex, my go-to combo for my lashes. Then I'm going in with the my favorite highlighter of the moment my Becca champagne pop highlighter yes thank you putting that on my cheekbones and on the temples another place I've been loving putting my highlight recently and a little bit on my nose I'm kind of working my way into the nose highlighting then I'm taking my makeup forever starlit powder in shade 13 and just a smidge because this shit is intense just a smidge Look at that glow though. Then I'm taking this Hourglass blush in Ethereal Glow, I believe it is. One of my favourite blushes. It looks just so nice on the skin. Mm. And I'm taking my Posy K lip liner, just the lip liner, and I'm just lining and filling in my lips to give it a more rosy base. And then I'm going in with Lola from Lime Crime, which is a little bit more of a neutral pink shade, as you can see. So I just wanted to bring a bit more of that rosiness, but not have a complete rosy lip, if you know what I mean. 
and I'm taking a bit of papaya from Jouer, just a tiny little bit, dabbing it in the center. And then I'm going nuts and taking, I think this is Fluke from Lime Crime in their Diamond Crushes and just putting that all over the lips. And I think that's done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.